hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so today we are going to do a simple tutorial on how we can build a custom api for like question answering pipeline this is created using fast api and uh, you might have familiar with fast api and like it's it's a very powerful service actually like to kind of make or to productize the solution in a much efficient way so today we are going to see how we can wrap the entire question answering pipeline using uh, fast api as a fast api service so uh, like in my previous tutorial i i was actually explaining something called a uh, question answering pipeline and uh, that's using this distilled model so like uh, i've explained the entire code in the previous video so i would suggest you guys to actually check it out before going to this particular tutorial so this so nothing but like it, it it explains a pipeline of uh, like question answering uh, module like we'll be able to kind of extract the data from different sources and like so in this example i'm showing a source wherein like we are extracting data from wikipedia so uh, this is what we are going to wrap it as a fast api in this video so uh, without further ado we'll get started and let's see what are the components so so first of all we need to copy paste all these functions into the uh, code and i am actually using spider to write my uh, app or the api so this is the id which i am using so like uh, we have to first load all the packages just like how we have it for all this uh, pipeline question answering pipeline till here and this particular command is for invoking the fast api module and then we have to instantiate app equal to fast api so here what we are trying to do is so in the api what we have done is like if you see here we have got like two get methods actually so in this case you can see there is one get method wherein like it just uh, hello world there is nothing much actually in this one so it just printing something called hello world and then there is another get method for prediction and so ideally it should be a uh, kind of like that's what we are going to build basically like that's what ideally we want to build essentially so let's let's see how we are actually building this one and i'm just shutting all this service off and we will build it from scratch so uh so just for having a initial get method like we are just giving the same hello world and I just copy pasted all the functions which we saw on the notebook. So we have a function for keyword extraction, we have a function for data collection, document ranking, then a function for QA. And finally, this is the main function which we need ideally, like answer generation. It's nothing but I just copy pasted the same uh, what to say main lines basically. Like so in this notebook, I'm just writing it in different cells, but I just wrapped it in this one. So like we are invoking the keywords or like we are extracting the keywords from this keywords we are collecting the data and finally we are ranking this one and finally we are running this Q&A model and in the return statement I provided it in a dictionary format so that we have an answer so answer one answer two answer three and finally we will be able to like uh, have an exception statement where like if something is not processing then we will say that sorry it couldn't process the request now let's see what is happening so all that i've done is i just wrapped this entire answer gen and i just put it in a get method with uh, the name predict so that's all i've done in this example and now let's see how we are actually getting this one so so first of all you need to open anaconda prompt so if you're using command prompt you can use that as well so i just pasted the command which we can load the app actually so open the prompt and then first of all you need to get into this directory so let's get into this directory first so i am in this directory and once we get inside this directory then you can simply run this command so so we are saying uvcon app and it should open in this port and finally this reload command is nothing but like whenever you make changes in the script we have to actually see what is the change so like we don't have to close the script again sorry close the prompt again and then again open it so to avoid that hustle we can actually use this 
and uh, just go to the prompt and just paste it sorry I, I didn't paste copy paste it. So just copy this and just paste this so now it's automatically opening the uh, what to say that particular service so like it is it is actually like the setup is completed and now we can start accessing it and there will be like a final prompt saying okay it will come actually like in some time so that is what uh, so this service is actually created without any failure so now let's see how it's actually looking like so just paste this one and uh, yeah so starting itself we are seeing this hello world so how we are seeing this hello world is like we had first defined a get method saying uh, read root hello world so that's the reason why we are getting so if we don't have this thing then we will straight away get like uh, nothing like so for example like if we don't have this then automatically we will not get that hello world like it, it, it will be like just some uh, yeah so not found detail not found because we haven't defined anything so that's a reason so let's keep the hello world just for simplicity and then we will have this uh, starting screen actually and so the good part with this fast api is like it, it is actually providing a really interactive environment uh, swagger to test out our api actually very effectively so as defined like we have two uh, get methods so like this should be actually post method but to read the data read the request within the local environment i just provided the get method so that's what uh, that's the reason why I provided get method or else it should have been post method as per the uh, standards from API basically as per the development standard so now uh, in this case you can clearly see there is a get method for root and there is a get method for answer gen. so now let's see how we can so this is something like we can try it out and uh, so I'm asking who is uh, Elon Musk so if I ask who is Elon Musk it will automatically run so like if you want to see the process then we can simply open the prompt and see what is happening in the back end so ideally the code is nothing but like it will automatically extract Elon Musk then it will go and search in Wikipedia and from there it will pull some data and that data is actually what reduced so like it ran and we are getting uh some results like brother one of the richest man in the world business magnet so these are the results which actually came retrieved by the uh, model actually and uh, let's ask one more question who is uh, billy elish so she is a singer and that result should actually come here and the ones which we don't have an output it will simply print this exception statement like sorry it couldn't process the request so that's the output which we will get in the uh, exception scenarios so ideally like what we have done is we had build a api service which we can deploy it in a cloud or like locally or in whatever service and finally we can use them in the production code actually so now we can see singer songwriter songwriter so now the good part is like we can even use this api so uh, like the request URL actually so uh, if we simply run this we will be able to get the request so we can try it in this Python file also like uh, for example like if we are giving import request then if we give response equal to request dot get and if you paste this link so this particular link then um, if we give the response dot text so ideally this will return the output actually whatever we saw in the uh, ui so this way like we can load this one and uh, this will not actually work for post method so that's the reason why i didn't so like we'll be able to invoke it so it's like if we deploy this as a request and then like if we provide the proper uh, what to say request method as per the definition then we will be able to invoke it just like an api 
without running all this entire code actually like so ideally like we are deploying the model along with the code and finally we are loading this entire api so that's the end goal actually uh, that's it for today and thanks a lot for watching this video uh, have a great day bye